Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to Wednesday Night Fights 3.6. Um, it's not quite top 16 yet. It's not. Um, no, but uh, we just, you know, trying to give some love to the King of Fighters community, mm -hmm. at least up to midnight. I know you guys have been anxiously waiting for Street Fighter V, but I'm trying to give love to as many communities with new games coming out to give them some flavors. The most important part about growing the community as is, should, is get them exposure. Of course, of course. And uh, Street Fighter, it's Street Fighter V time. And we're going to have, oh, well, first, introduce my boy here, man. Chris Deterrent. I was here waiting. Yeah, I know, man. I'm my bad. I'm my bad, man. I, my, my mind is It's all good, brother. Hour. I let you do your thing. Yeah. Don't worry about so it. So we're, we're going to go right into, uh, this is still pools. This is winner's finals. This is uh, Oliver versus Bushin Bushin style. style. Who just uh, took who, out Yeah, he just took out Mr. The Red Bull. Mr. Red Bull Snake Eyes. Mr. Red Bull Snake Eyes. With Rashid, he is officially now, officially the best no, no, no the longer low tier. Yeah. He's officially no, long no longer low tier. Low -tier. Yeah. He's graduated. So, yeah. So Rashid, uh, he just played Snake Eyes' Ryu and had, you know, beat his Ryu. So I don't know if uh, Kai is going to be ready for this Rashid pressure. Uh, I mean, I, I played Rashid a lot versus Oliver. Oh. Uh, I mean, he still got beat up. But the thing is, he's, he's, got, he's gotten that flavor. Uh-huh. Uh, so he, he has some familiarity with the character. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, but that. But yeah, doing two uppercuts is not right looking now. so hot. Uh, Snake Eyes, he plays, I mean, right now, a lot of online. And that's all, I, yeah, I was Don't make him, no excuses, son. I you got, telling, you got I was, Rashida. Yeah, I was telling him, hey, man, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta play at your locals again, brother. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's a rough life out there, man. And uh, It's a rough, rough life out here, yeah, too, yeah, man. Okay. The Wednesday Night Fights is not, it's not an easy tournament to no, win. No, it is not. Like, for instance, your boy Julio, right? Yeah. He won ECT. But he's never won a Wednesday night fight. Yeah. Can you believe that, Carlos? No, but I that mean, is that is nuts. Julio is very capable of winning. Oh, Wednesday I know he fights can win. Well. I'm not saying he can't. I'm the just competition here is rough. Very rough. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it, it is a rough fight, brother. Especially when uh, Mr. Freedom himself comes. <laughs> and we got to uh, deal with that guy. But now we have a Ryu player as well coming to Wednesday night fights. Mr. Oliver Queen. Oh yes, Queen. Mr. Oliver Queen is in the house now. Ryu. Nope. He's getting his taste of getting blown up right now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, see, Kai has to just, you know, get in the rhythm. Of, yeah, get in the rhythm of things. Yo, that was <laughs> such yeah, a that, late. <laughs> that standing light kick, dude. No, it's good. It's really, really good. It's, it's but bad. you no, it, it's not like the Kali cheap. It actually still requires some timing. Because that, that kick gets blown up by cross ups. So you can't do ah. it there. Ooh, yeah. nice punish into EX Fireball. Yeah. Alright, we need a we need to spice it up. Oh, my gosh. Go, oh, where are we going, dude? Where are we going? We're going to Texas. Oh, no. That's where Oliver Queen's from. Is he? Yeah, he's from Texas. Well, let me, let me hear your Texan accent right now. No, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. Well, I, can't, I can't do Texas. What, what can you do? I don't know, man. If, you whenever got, I, I know you got the Sien, right? You got the K Brad. You, you, you know, I remember that. When, whenever I do those, everybody loves it. <laughs> I do those on the rest of my life. Uh, yeah, what happened to the Valle faces, though? How no, many no, times no. we used to get like no, memes no, no, no. and? Yeah, man, it's gonna play it out right? dude. with the with the Ken with the Ken face. There's no way it's played out. Come it's, on. It's a it's a little ooh. 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 Right. Oh. Bushin style. The Bushin style. Bushin. Bushin. Style. Bushin. Bushin. <laughs> we call it Bushin style. Look how happy he is right oh, he, there. That, he that, is that wasn't so even you know he's not even sweating right now. Oh. Not at all. Dude, he is. He just smiling. shrugged his shoulders like. Yeah. Kind of thing. They not the for me. No, I mean he's been creeping the you know top 16, top eight now. Loser uh, faces yeah. snake eyes. Ooh. Oh no, it ain't gonna be uh, Mr. Bushin style here. I oh, don't think so. We need to see. This guy needs to get sponsored. No, no, I don't. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We need to get a sponsor for Bushin style. Uh. The best Rashid at ones that I fights easily. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah when, you know when I'm not playing him. Uh huh. <laughs> No. Oh, oh, that was a horrible punish. Wait, can't you do one? Uh, you can do a British accent. Nope. Yeah, you can. I've heard uh, it. Nope. Cannot do it. The Pump Pump City. No, I cannot. Oh, no, you, dude, can you can do it. You can do it. You can do the hey, Pump Pump. Hey, so your boy, he can enter. Actually, no, 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 no. no, no, no. So, like, yeah. No, 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 I was going to say, like, um, I totally forgot. He, like, CPT online ranking, he won the number two event, right? But yeah. if, if he would have won the first one, he could yeah. he could have entered the second one. He, you, he yeah, if, you, if you, you can, if even if you win one, you, you can, can enter, enter the you can enter the next one. Yeah. 
but well, he can't enter anymore. He already called. Well, but okay, yeah. So the controversy here is that he can get more points. SCR is the same date as the Europe no, regional no, final. No, no. Oh, is it? It is. That's why I'm not going to the Europe uh, regional final. Okay. Yeah. So and then I talked to I'm still the daddy. He was supposed to come to SoCal, ah. but because he qualified, he's no, he like, uh, I don't he think can't. he's gonna come anymore. But we told him like, Wait, SCR no, no, is an no, no. automatic qualifier. No, I don't, it's I don't, the same. Same it's date. The same date. Same no, I don't think so. Same dates. No. Way. I already told him I can't come. Wow. That's, okay. Yeah. It's it's BS. Oh, like I, I wanted to go to Milan. No. Who doesn't want to go to Milan? That sucks. Right? Okay. I have to check the dates again. Yeah. It sucks. Yo, Bush is still going to work, but yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, there's no nothing more to compensate on this anymore. I really want to see up to the daddy's like guile. He, see how he would do it versus he everybody. He wants to play everybody. Yes. He really does. Yes. Yep. Can we get a full screen overhead? Oh, okay. no, not gonna work. Nah, man, we had a full screen jump. That full was full screen uh, jump. Yeah, that was that was not looking too Bushin hot. Bushin style she qualifies for top sixteen. That was into top 16. Yep. Yep. That was top 16. Oh, uh, we got we got brand Damn, we are we are blood red over we're, here. We're, Hey, so Puerto Rico, dude, how was Puerto, your experience? Oh, yes, yes, yes. No. Uh, my experience at Puerto Rico was perfect. It was awesome. Perfect. Uh, thank you to Mono. Thank you to every person in Puerto Rico. You guys honestly made my trip amazing, man. I had such a good time out there. You guys treated us with so much hospitality. It was uh, We couldn't have asked for anything more, man. You took us out to eat. You took us out to the beach. You took us out everywhere. And, the and beach. The yes. beach. Yes, huge well, shout well, we out. we had a storm. Dude, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, huge shout outs yeah. to Mono and the yeah. PR guys, man. You guys you guys were honestly awesome. I had such a great time over there. I do. Mono, uh, Mari, Mari Carmen, uh, Esports Puerto Rico, yeah, for sure. all staff. Yeah. And uh, uh, special shout outs to my brother Diego that I met out there, man. Oh, that, Diego, guy, yeah. that guy is is an intellectual. Yeah. He's a he's something else, man. He's a very, very kind hearted person. Oh, well, yo, your Did Brent. Drop, your, your, Brent drop? your boy Brent is. My Brent? Your boy Brent. Uh huh. Is messing up my cabinet over there. Dude. I mean, your stick went out on him my earlier. Stick? Yeah. How was my stick? One of the out? sticks desynced, and he lost the match. It, it, it didn't desync. Don't somebody, to, somebody pushed pause. Nobody, on a, on ain't a, nobody pushed the button. Oh, there we go. Right. Hey, hey, so you like this bag, man? Versus like the, the big split one. frame. I think it. I think it fits you better. This one right here. This split one fits frame, me better. Yeah, this fits you better, man. You know, is dude, that is that like a high joke? No, no, no. It's, it's for real. It fits you better, dude. I think it fits you better, dude. Well, I like I, I like I, that I, color. The, no, the design is sick. The color is sick. Um, it's see, like, it's reminiscent of like a camera bag because yeah. you can like um, inside you can kind of change the compartments around. Really? Yeah. Look, look. Well, you look, can organize it. Yeah, you can organize oh, it down there. It's that. sick. Like you can put, um, you know, you can, water I can bottle. put my notebooks in there for no, school. Like, no, and I and carry my stick at the same you time. Can do, you can do all that stuff, brother. I'm telling you. I like I like the the older ones the uh, the one that I got you with the the, the long yeah 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah yeah that one was really good too. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got uh, Mrs. R. Micah in here. Oh, she's not wearing my see, favorite the, hat, dude. See, long uh, when he was doing his country accent, he said R. Micah. Everybody R. Micah. Laugh. <laughs> R. Micah, the way you said it. So shout outs to LP and F. Champ there, Killer Cal. Miller. Oh, Damn, man. she's still using that. Damn. No, that's what. That's what killed me. Yeah, yeah, she's not entering as F-Champ killer. Man. Ooh. Hey, everybody out there, if you guys want to find out a, a counter to Rashid, Mika is a pretty good character to do it. But Mika, you have to have a good Mika. Yeah, Mika but, counters everybody. Yeah, kidding, yeah. To an extent. The thing with Mika is, like, when, I, when I was using her for a little bit, she definitely struggles against some characters when it comes to the neutral, right? Trying to find a way in. But for some reason, after every single time against every single character, once you get a knockdown, it seems like the world is yours, man. You, you just have a grand time just getting in and doing whatever it is that Mika wants to do. That, 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 that might be Look death. at that drop kick jump, dude. It's like Alex. It is. Yeah, she can do that or empty jump. That's the, nice from the brand. mess up thing, man. Thing is, though, that wasn't real. She could have done the EX uh, command grab from the air. That would have caught that jump. Ooh. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, my. Ooh. It's going to hurt today. <laughs> That's going to hurt. Oh, that, that was an accidental back throw. Oh. Uh, let's get the Irish whip. Ooh. Almost done. It seems like Brent's just shutting down. Uh, no, uh, man. Oh, he didn't commit. Irreversible back. 
Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> you know what? You know what I'm gonna start doing? Like, I'll have to pay attention to which V trigger that Mika's doing. You know what I mean? And for some reason, whenever they do the the long one, like the two-handed up one, when it takes like two, three seconds to come in, they're just literally waiting for you to get scared and be reversed on everything. So in those situations, I'm just gonna start rushing her down. I'm do gonna it. see if that works out. Do it! Because I know like it takes two seconds, right, for the dash to come in. So I gotta get some sort of like dash grab or something like that. Because she's feeding off of that fear that you have of Nadeshko coming in. Ow. While I was talking, uh, Brent seemed to end this round kind of quickly. This is your boy, dude. He won last week? Or no, two weeks ago. No, he won two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, yeah. ago. yeah. Got, Myers won last week. Myers. They didn't show oh, up right. again. Well, Myers? Uh, I wanted my revenge. I wanted your revenge, huh? I wanted my revenge. Oh. Uh, he played really good that night. He did, he did. He did. Oh. oh, no. Yeah, this is looking kind of bad. This is into top 16, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We got Futile and Commander Destiny next. That was so sick. Ow. That's going to be KO. Down that hurts that so much. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, so where we go here? We got Commander Jesse coming in with the Dawson. <laughs> and we got Futile coming in with Laura. I got to play against Bushin style. Oh, yeah? That's going to be fun. That is going to be real That's fun. That's going to be real fun. All right, who, who's on the loser's side? Damn, loser's I got to. I got to play E Insanity. E Insanity versus E. Uh, yeah. I got to play Chun Li's, huh? Wait, where's Snake Eyes? Uh, it's, he's playing. Uh, Elover right now. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. He's yeah. going to be playing. Well, he can't really play in Nick Tanella's stream because. They were ready to KO yeah, over that's, there, right? Yeah, yep. so if you guys want to watch the King of Fighters 14, uh, the rest of the tournament is going to be on Nick Tanella's stream. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so I don't really know how the Laura versus Dawson matchup goes. I would assume that Laura wins because, you know, command grab characters, uh, characters give Dawson a really hard time. And he can't really jump away to punish it, you know what I mean? Or neutral jump it, so he's kind of had to hold that. <laughs> but, uh. you know, Dawson, Dawson does what Dawson does well. Does best. Pressing all the buttons, keeping Laura out. I don't know how Laura can get in, but maybe one bar, right? She can EX shoulder all of his fireballs or something, right? Or V-skill it. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm saying at this point. I'm just trying to continue just, talking. Oh, just keep it going, brother. you got to keep it entertained, you know what no, I'm just saying? Keep I need to entertain keep, the crowd. Keep it going, my brother. Keep it going. Man. I could land a job like this, you know. You could. Hey, uh, boy, somebody hey. out there, you know, listening to me. Hey, voice acting, dude. You voice acting, uh, you know, do some cover ups or something. You, you can definitely do it, man. I still got to work my country accent, but I'll get there someday. I promise. <laughs> I really will. Hey, you know, you know who's yet to win the Wednesday night fights? Mike. A lot of actually, and Jesse. 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 Mike, Mike Elma. <laughs> Uh, Futile's won. Yeah, Futile's won. Uh, who else? I think those are the last, wow, those are the last, last two really else. good, you know. Stup stupendous won. Stupendous, yeah. Uh, you and I, of course. French. Like in, like in any given freaking Wednesday, dude. Yeah, man. What happened to the green lights? The green lights were sick. Oh, that was during the Legion release. Yeah. Met for Wednesday, or Wednesday. You World, to, World of Warcraft. You get to choose what lights are on? Um, I have to set up earlier. I forgot. Uh, uh, it's all red. They, had a, they probably had a special event. Anyways. Anyways. Ay, ay, ay. Is that good? Hit? Good. Hit? All right, good throw by Laura. Ooh. Brain traps on point from Futile. Oh, yeah. Whoa. oh no, why would you teleport it? Oh no, I was to throw it to the corner. Come on, you gotta expect anytime Dawson has that V trigger, he's looking Ooh. for the slide. Double? Double Mika mix up, dog. Which side is he gonna be on? You gotta look to pop that Ow. V trigger somehow. Yeah, this isn't looking very good. Not, for not looking good. Oh, punish that. There yeah, it is. That, that, was, that was a very high risk for a little reward. Yeah. Very high risk. He for is hoping for a reward. hit so he can. He can't, add, he add he more can't pressure. cancel that, yeah. No, there it is. See, just like I said, he use the EX shoulder. Get across the fireball. Uh, which side? And the Dawson dive kick. 
Ooh. Yo, oh, that was a sick meaty, but why didn't he cancel into like... Fireball? Yo, that's safe. Minus two. Oh, yep. Oh. Can't do that. Oh, you're going to get to play with that. Come on, grab. Nah, save that command grab for the later round. He's not winning What this. does Jesse have? Oh, no. Yeah, there's no, he messed there's it no up. way. He should have just done the side switch. Final round. Fight. All right. Ooh, Ow. gets the round. Fight. That's in the All face. Right. I waited for the shimmy. He, he tried to the shimmer. <laughs> Ooh, that could have been canceled into the... Nice. Good block by Futile. Oh, this isn't looking too favorable, but Laura just needs one hit, so Futile's got to find a sound out, but gets played by the fireball. Oh, that was really well, stupid side. of Jesse to do that. Just giving her opportunity. Man. Just giving her the yeah. opportunity. There it is. What's going to happen? Cancel to... Nope, get off me. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Jesse's been on the shimmies lately. Shammers. Dolphin wins. Dirty yeah. Sim wins. Uh, what? Today we are coaching Dirty Sim. <laughs> be best. Let's do this, Commander. Oh, yo, do it for all the beards. Round do it one. for the bearded men. Oh, man, chest, right. brother. All the beards. Oh. Hey. Ooh. He's getting rushed down. Yeah. There we go. Oh, this is not looking too good for Utah right now, man. And he used this bar. Gets the V reversal, though, dude. Then what? Nada. Espero nada, you know? Like, he's not going to do anything. Oh, hey. Nope. All right, oh, next you, against Bushin. Yeah, you're next. Against Bushin. Oh, get off me oh, again. Oh, oh nice. why? You throw fireball so close, man. Yeah, I mean, it got her. You know, it did, it did hit her. That's not paying. Oh, oh yeah, shout out to Mono Spang, too. He this thing is sick. A lot of dirty stuff yeah, to play, man. Oh, that's Ooh. gonna hurt. Double fierce? Double fist. Uh. Body. Let that slide in. Wow. Uh-huh. Oh, that's going to hurt, son. Oh, he oh, messed he up messed the setup. Why, why, why is he mess up on, on him? Not me. But not on you no, or me. No. Oh, Ooh, oh. wow, Jesse. Jesse. Jesse, Commander, Jesse. Jesse. Final round. So, <laughs> pop the kneecaps, Fine. dude. I he popped the knee guy. Oh, dude, he freaking <laughs> double barrel hey, shotgun. Hey. Okay, yeah, those are definite meaties that he's practiced. Oh, yeah. Fierce. Hey. Oh. Nice. Uh. Uh. See, I don't know who I'd rather fight, Jesse or Laura. Hey, did, did Jesse take you out last time? No, I beat him. Oh, okay, okay. I ran a gauntlet against everybody and I lost to uh, Myers. That's right. Good stuff to Myers, though. Except he popped off on me. <laughs> My own home. The good stuff to Futile. There it is. Futile. Ties it up. Mm. Laura wins. Yeah, these guys, look at them. Yeah, they're, they're playing. They're, they're very, freaking very like, intense. Very intense. It is very intense, man. These guys want it so bad. For player two. Futile, look at it. looks. So you're not futile over here. <laughs> what, what is that supposed to be, man? I don't know. Round Something with a, with a deep voice. Fight. <laughs> I guess it's a little bit of country. Maybe lock them door and turn them lights down low. Hey, so we played against the TR guys. Oh over yes. There in Puerto Rico, dude. Those guys are legit. Dominicano Republica. Oh, hey, man. How well do you think they'll do down here? I think they would high key body everybody. They, down here. they would do some work. They I'm, would definitely. They, they would do a lot of work. A so lot of work. So Cabo. Ray, Cabo. Um, Cabo. Oh, Cabo. And, and Cabo. They had one more Ryu player. I forgot yeah, uh, his name though. Yeah. Now the Ryu player is legit. They yeah, also yes. have an Dalsum player. It's not too bad either. They do. They do. Yeah. He plays Dalsum and Ken. He does. Uh, I only got to play him once, but I mean I know the Dalsum match pretty well. So, but the. 
Kaba and, and ERA and that other Ryu player. I told them you need to come out to SoCal Regionals. Yep. Everybody will money match. Everybody will play you guys. Because everybody's been asking me, like, so what's up with these DR guys? Dude, and they, good, they dude. came to play, man. They are serious. They're literally like robots. Something is negative, they will. They know how to punish it. Yep. And their meaties are on point. They, they just know how to play the game. Very fast pace. They play all the top tier. Yeah. Yeah. They get to go. Oh, nice. Oh, man. It looks like if I beat Bushin style, I'm going to be playing against Laura, which is not fun, man. Do you like playing against Laura? God, one mistake. 80%. Ooh. Nice jump back tech. See, I got to start using that a lot more, man. Nice hit confirmed. But it looks like, yeah, this is not looking too good for Ryan. Jump back, Jack. Oh, get him. Oh, oh, that's dude, that's, 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 that's game. That's game. That's game. That's game. Oh, my God. Overhead, overhead. Please don't overhead. Please don't overhead. Oh, wow. He got him out of there. Oh, now jump back, Jack. Oh, wow. Standing fierce for the win. You know what he tried to do? He tried to V skill back into range and V skill again for the overhead. Uh, 100%. Wow, oh, that V reversal saved his life, dude. And he V reversal the bad. Yeah, he could have command grab too if, uh, if uh, Ryan was paying attention. Oh, yeah. oh which side? Oh, Ooh, that's wow, hard. that's his new trick. Look at the stun, bro. So he does, stun. he does instant Gale into a dashboard. Wow. Lay damage. Oh, well, it's never over. It's never over. All she needs is one touch. One pairs. You yeah, can get a pairs in there. Mm. Oh, That's no. A, Dawson, it always happens with Dawson. Yep. I don't know why. You and press a button and you get thrown by Dawson. And Commander time. Jesse takes it. And you know who's up, up, dude? I'm up. You're up, You're up, man. Good luck, brother. All right, thank you. Thank Good you. Luck. I'll be back, right. hopefully. Okay. All right, Christopher Tatarian. EVB's English Tatarian. <laughs> wow. All right, I'm solo. I'm riding solo, man. <laughs> I have nobody here. It's just me. It's just me. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, I got to play. I got to play. Got to play. We're going to get some professionals now. All right, guys, take it away. Hello. Wait, are we go? Are we are we a go? Let me adjust this so you can see the monitor here. Oh, thank you, sir. These are a bunch of commentary rookies. They don't know what they're doing. I was about to say, how are they commentating this? Yo, you got an old man and a kid that knows how to do accents, and you just have them talk over a Street Fighter match, and you think it's commentary, huh? Kyobi loves you it, got? Kyobi, Kyobi you loves it, happy. right? Man, Kyobi looks like a grown man today. He's got facial hair and everything. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. You can grow facial hair? That's I crazy. Just, man, that is nuts. This is legit it's like new. some anime stuff. It's like Christmas. For him. I feel so, ha <laughs> I feel so like happy for him. <laughs> Why would that be Christmas? It's because like, you I'm don't know so what it feels like to be a man. I'm joking. I, was, I didn't even finish oh. it. I, I didn't oh. finish it. That wasn't cool. Anyway. Oh. Steve and I have returned from Seattle. We are in PAX. Shout out to everybody who came and said hi to Steve and myself. Yo, it was a lot of fun. We were Thank working you. at the HyperX booth. It was a lot of fun. Shilling products. Yeah. We uh, basically just talked shit on the people at the booth for the whole weekend. Yeah. Uh, that, we was the, that was what we did. We were booth babes. Yeah. yeah. Steve and I were booth babes. Just like all the babes will be wearing the Zeroism shirt you can see. It is available now at SplitFrame.net. I was in the middle of a story, and Kyobi interrupted with an ad. But, of course, that is all I look forward to in the day. It's telling you guys about the lovely products that sponsor us here at Wednesday Night Fights. We got ourselves a match here. It's Christopher Tatarian on the left with Ken Bushin Style, who beat Snake Eyes uh, with Rashid. With Rashid. Rashido. Uh, it, was, it was pretty good. It was pretty good stuff. Beat Snake Eyes. The whole camera crew was there filming. They didn't film the game screen. They're going to edit it in in the, in the Red Bull video. Snake Eyes is going to win. Right. They're going to do that in post-doc. Don't worry about that. But in the meantime, Chris Tatarian uh, versus... Bushin style. Great wow. jump. Nice jump. Get over that sweep. Gets the heavy DP into the corner. Fake. Yeah. Oh. Got to watch out for that big step kick in the corner. That, that is the Crystalarian special. Oh, wow. Wake up EX spin mixer, of course. Yeah, V reversal early from Tatarian. There is V trigger available from Bushin. Pops Tatarian oh, wow. with the preemptive jump back. Nice. And he'll take that. Yeah, this isn't a bad V trigger from, uh, yeah, Chris will take that. that. That was totally a fine scenario to eat. Just some of pressure. Nothing big. 
Round yeah, two. I think in that situation, especially Fight. when you have D trigger as Rashid, it's really hard not to pop it because you feel like that's your only way in. Right. But proper setup of that V trigger for like Rashid is key. Oh my God, yeah, I did not off see the trade. that. Chris can do a uh, toss through there. It's a better option in a lot of scenarios. He did down four Ferris in the middle of the target that will. Wow. Yeah, Bushin style is going to hit that button until the life bar reaches zero. <laughs> That's just his plan. Yeah, you see, that button is life. What a backdash from Chris T. There's the take. He'll be faxed on the bottom there. Winner's going to be going against Commander Jesse. All right. Deep in the bracket at this point. Nice. Down four Ferris again runs into it. Confirm low forward in this mix. Pressure, it. yeah, plus frame dive kick, Chris with the block. Ugh, trade. Trigger on deck for both players. Tarion wants a normal into it so he can uh, get those plus frames. And Boosh is now actually has likely right now. Ooh, Ooh, not gonna catch him on the run, and Tatarian's okay with that. He didn't really eat much. Wow, no he uppercut. knows that he's gonna hit and confirm into something. Oh, wow. Wow, cross up on the other side, double short to close that out. Chris Tatarian opened up. Boosh and style holds on to that round, despite Chris with all kinds of resources to work with. Oh, wow. Clashes, dissipates both. Oh, wow. Late, late Tatsu. Now has corner positioning, Bushin with no meter. Nice tech on the throw. Bushin's back, steal to the wall right now. Trying to fight his way out, nice normals. Staggered pressure, Tatarian doesn't bite. Throw after the roundhouse, that is minus two, so take your turn. Nice block over the overhead right there. Man, look at the defensive jump away from Tatarian, and now that V-Trigger not a factor at all. Whoa, sick, that was a ridiculous answer here. Off the wall from Bushin. Nice. X right through. through it this time. Yeah, fake step kick again. Chris needs one more to close it out. A throw will do it. Nice tech on the throw. That was really ballsy, especially at that range. Jumps oh. into the V trigger. Okay, good juggle. bushin has got a long way to go. That's unsafe. Tarion just didn't get there. Oh, nice. Oh, oh man, he could have just punished that. Oh, wow. Hits a play. No uppercut from oh, Tarion. Yo, an early jump. Fierce from fucking. Oh, oh my god, he's not out of this yet. You can do the fireball. Oh, empty low. Empty jump he low. dropped it. Tarion not out of this yet, though. He's got a oh. man. Scary scuff. That, that trade is terrifying. If that was a jump from Bushin style, man, it would have been rough for Tarion. But he, he gets out of there alive. Now, you know what's the worst part about this matchup? Bushin style feels himself. <laughs> right. <out> right. <laughs> Thanks, man. I was in the middle of the story, man. Kyobi blindsided me. It's like I'm often blindsided by the amazing deals of our partners here at Wednesday Night Fights. Just like HyperX, you can see at the top of the screen, big sponsor here at WNF. Shout out to HyperX. They treated us really good this weekend. So. Yeah, it was awesome. Being a booth babe at the HyperX booth was dope. Wow, man, Chris is so good about interrupting that yeah. pressure. We saw him doing it uh, over in Puerto Rico just recently. Yeah, against John, Takuichi, and uh, Grand Finals, PR. I mean, it didn't bring him a match, but... No, or Winner's Finals, excuse me. Yeah, definitely didn't look too bad against Rashid. Man, that Tatsu didn't hit, huh? Gets away with the run. Raw Mixer, Bushin's used that a lot in footsies and it's worked out. Nice. Wow, puts himself in the corner. I don't know if that was on purpose. Okay. So I think with the V skill, he was trying to avoid a reversal uppercut or something like that, or Tatsu or a V reversal. Punish. Yeah, nice there it is. Nice Full punish right here. He has super available. Doesn't spend it. He still just needs one to close it out. Tatsu mix ups. Darren's still in there. Is there a mixer? Oh, nice block on the overhead. Oh, the reversal and that uppercut. Is not a block stream, sir. I'm an EX right through that bad boy. Yeah, he's just always ready for it. Tatarian's awareness is too strong. Bushin Style's got to adjust the game plan. Yeah, punish from Tatarian. Whoa, funky thoughts. I think in the air, he just realized he kind of goofed. He needs to be really careful. Christy has nice chunks of media to work with. Oh, oh yeah, he went for the tap. That was tricky. I like it. Plus frame dive kick, yeah, Tatarian out of there. He doesn't want to deal with the setup. Nice usage. Of, uh, oh, right in the front, but he was out of range for that target combo. Great box from Tatarian. Finally gets opened up, but didn't confirm. Oh, he could close it out here. He does counter hit combo, low medium punch, low medium kick, and that'll do it. Christopher Tatarian moves into winner side top eight. Dang, turning off the device. You don't even want to see the end of that thing? Wow. Doesn't want it to happen. Anyways, as I was saying before Kyobi interrupted us, you and I were at the HyperX booth this weekend at PAX. It was a lot of fun. Thanks to everybody who stopped by and joined us. It was a real absolute pleasure to hang out with the HyperX booth. They took awesome care of, care of us. I never thought that we were professional booth babes. We've made it in our career. 
Uh, basically, all we did was talk shit on people at the booth. Because, you know, HyperX is a headphone company mostly. What's good? Yeah, you know what's good. <laughs> HyperX uh, is a, a headphone company mostly. Man, I look real pleased in this, don't hey, I? You look way too pleased. Where did that Ugh. photo come from? The internet is a vast and luxurious place. Man, that was pretty crazy. Is this a gif of everybody's, like, <laughs> defeat? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yo, Blanca just looked like he got tossed. Yeah, bro. Vega, dude. Oh, my God. Ugh. <laughs> Vega looked like so, he got hit by a car. We just talked trash on people at the booth. They would come up to the booth, and they would not wear the headset, which is the whole point of going to the booth. Is It's a company that makes headsets. So it they was would legit like the, the booth was set up for you to play games that you've already played before. Right, with, with the headset the on. Headsets so on. So they wouldn't wear the headset. So what Steve and I would do, we had handheld mics. We'd walk up behind them, and we'd be like, you know, Steve, and someone would die or something in the game. We'd be like, man. You know, he probably wouldn't have had that death there if he had the HyperX headset on as he could hear his opponent sneaking up behind him. Steve, it's crazy. And so we just did that and heckled them and made them feel so uncomfortable until they put the headset on. It was so much fun because people recognizing that we were talking about them was the best. They'd be yes. like, I wonder who they're talking about. And then they look behind them and they're like, oh, shit, he's right there. And we're standing right there <laughs> staring at them with the mics. And we would even describe them. We'd be like, as he looks to his left there at the head headset stand, and he'd be like, oh, my God, they're talking about me. It was really, really sick. That was so much fun, dude. Yeah, and then I had a segue off oh, with man. someone from the other booth. It was crazy. Oh, man. That was the most insane thing. That was sick, though. It was actually like a rap battle, but a segue off. Why did they dude. think that they like, could hang with me? Like, I don't know what they were thinking. All right, I'll tell you guys about that in a second. We got a match. Mike El Nam versus Savele. Savele used to play uh, Nikali, if I remember correctly, but is now on this retrain. Uh, and he had, he had really good results when he was playing Nikali, uh, but now is is joining the train of Ryu. And Michael now used to play a lot of Vega, now playing Kami mostly. Kind of switches back and forth. No whip on his game. Oh, Surprising. Wow. One of the things you think about when you think Michael Na is his ground game. It's really impressive. Right. Nice anti-air right there. Oh, wow. Roundhouse just to stop the jump back. Yeah, back. Roundhouse. Oh. Oh, wow. Blue. The low forward. No okay. game. Right. And look at Alex Vaya's face on this shot, right away. Look at this full cruising. What is he him? doing? I don't know what he's doing. It's so good. <laughs> so, wait, we need to find out what happened over here, though. Yeah, somebody somebody goofed it up. Somebody has a hooked up controller. Look at Vaya's face in that picture. Doesn't he look so positive? He looks so himself? pleased with himself. It's kind of gross. Ugh. Man. Oh, I don't know what's When happening. was this taken? His hair looks less gray. Uh, What are they doing? We need a TO to the front desk. I repeat, a TO to the front desk. They're probably just going to restart it, I gonna guess. Restart it. I mean, it was the first round. Not too much had transpired. I don't know how this happens. This game has a mode that you can turn on where if you tap pause, it doesn't pause. You have to right. hold down the start button for like three seconds. That mode should be enabled. Whoever didn't enable it They're sucks stupid. to suck. All right, but once again, I guess, uh, what is it, Savele versus Mike Elna. Mr. Mike Elna. All right, everything's set back in the match. Here we go. Man, what a bunch of nerds. They don't know what they're doing. You figure we play video games all our lives that you couldn't figure out how to work a PlayStation 4? Come on, guys. Right. It's not rocket science, right? It's video games. I had a friend that didn't say rocket science. He said rocket chemistry. Rocket Round chemistry? One. Yeah, <laughs> he's a crack me up. Yo, dance alchemy? Oh, oh dude, don't God. even get me started. Don't get me started about dance alchemy. No, no kill me. It's no. going to change your life. If we could get that gift. Oh, Man. my God. Dance alchemy. I think that if I had a stream, I think that might be one. I would have to use it. I would have to use it. Dance alchemy. All right, and just like that, Mike L. Nah. Of course, Vega anymore? No, because it's Cammy. Nice, nice pressure right now. And Savele, this time, definitely not doing as well. Hey, he's having a tough time in the neutral. He's getting picked apart. This is one of the matchups I feel uh, characters who can really control Ryu in the neutral. With dive kick being tough to anti air in a lot of scenarios, because she can just jump dive kick out of range of uppercut. Right. She has good ground game, good anti fireball stuff. She has all the tools to deal with Ryu. Yep, and her walk speed is so annoyingly fast. It's crazy fast. Puts her in range. Oh my god, puts her in range to just annoy you with even if it is V skill or just Round a jump in into dive kick, like you said before. Yeah, she has all the tools to deal with Ryu's uh, neutral. Great walk speed, normals, a couple of ways to jump in and avoid firewalls. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. I still think he wins this, but it's not free. Man, anti-air back roundhouse has been the go-to. Oh, man, wow. drops. He could have been doing some major damage right there. Yeah. Or just any kind of damage. Just got a big drop. And no anti-air from Michael Nall or confirm from Savele. Nice. Gets the sweep. Oh, drops the combo. Oh, man. Lots, lots of spaghetti. Uh, another one. That'll be around a piece. All right. Kind of crumbled at the end. Uh, both of them just kind of had lots of weird drops. But... Got to take advantage of those kind of moments. And Ryu the Slugger, much better in that kind of environment than Kami with 900 health. Nice defense right now. Not getting opened up. He's still low for it, though. Got him. Oh, wow. Got him second. This time he, he tried it again. Savele with the button instead. He needs to be really careful. Savele definitely has full bar. Critical art is on deck. Yeah, whip punish from Mike. Oh, wow. Jabbed out of the V-Skill. There's been a couple of wake up jabs now from Savele. Yep, throw again. You gotta watch that, man. Great confirm from Mike. Nice. Go for an EX fireball. Back man, that back round house. Okay, he needs maybe one more of a stun. If he cancels that in the EX fireball, that would have been stun. Oh, and he oh could have confirmed. God. Man, what's happening? So much drops. Oh, wow. You gotta watch for the jump dive kick. Oh, my God. How did he not answer oh that work? Oh, my God. He the combo. combo. Man, oh man. Wow. You see, he's still not happy about that. There's a lot, a lot of drops in that scenario. Did you see Savely's throat, Can't like, when win. he swallowed from the bull that just happened? It legit was just like, I don't want to win. Like, up and down his throat. <laughs> Told you that. It just, the, the Adam's apple was bouncing. <laughs> oh, man. All right, come on, Savely, man. He had a lot of good, like, the fact that he was using back roundhouse like that. Well, yeah, it's <laughs> a preemptive anti air for dive kick. It was working so cleanly. Even more so that he would do it, and then he'd walk up and do it again. But he just right. didn't confirm the combo. Could have had a lot of damage. Like you yeah. said, a lot of combos left on the table right there. Yeah, a lot, a lot of drops for both players, uh, which is unfortunate. Yeah, All right, back to the, the tried and true, huh? I don't blame him. How do you feel about this matchup? How do you feel about Nikali versus Ken? I think uh, Nikali is fine. He has good, great neutral buttons, especially for whip punishing. Like, his low strong is amazing for whip punishing. Uh, as as counterpoke, he has good buttons to stick out there. He can anti air her a bit better. His, his uppercut goes more horizontal than his. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, he has good tools for this. Yeah, 100 percent right. And of course, winner face is, is cool. And winner's top eight. Nice confirm right there. Oh wow! Nice free up the jump roundhouse. Oh, nice scramble and gets the anti air on the dive kick. Nice trade again. Roundhouse slash with a dive kick, and this time finds his winning an EX stomp. Oh, nice backdash by Mike L9. Finds a hit, pops B trigger. Nice and he's got to guess corner. one more time. Got him. Yeah, good work. That's the stun. Builds a bit of meter and the uppercut at the end. Full bar for Mike L9. And working on two games straight. And you got to wonder if maybe starting with Ryu, uh, Svele's got to switch back to Nikali mode and think about it. Yeah, that's definitely what oh. happens. Nice confirm. Oh, but he did the wrong one. If he doesn't like kick or medium kick, I think he would have been good there. Nice. That was a really hard read on that jump. Yeah, super duper hard read after that roundhouse. Oh, oh. man, slops oh, from both wow. sides. Yeah. He didn't know what side he was on, so he probably tried to cancel that and he just tried to man it instead. Okay, missed time medium from Mike. Oh, oh he caught him wow. Second. All right, spends it. Nice. Really good. That's actually not that bad. He's really close to B trigger right now. So either side smoke gets the meter. No, it's the anti air. Yeah, V trigger available. Oh my, missed it. He's got him. Not gonna be able to close it out on this. Yeah, he saves it and the wake up buttons again. Oh. Overhead, man. Mike didn't stand up. He didn't have any bu buttons there. If he had buffered something, he would have got him. Yeah. It's really hard though, you, especially when you get Nikali in that range. It starts to become a gamble when your life is low if you want to just do DP, you know, because you do not want to eat any kind of combo yeah. from the Kali and B trigger. Oh, yeah, he does a ridiculous amount. Nice, back gets throw. the back throw. Yeah, Ooh. there's a challenge. Mike hasn't done it that many times yet. Wow. Try to get that standard medium kick up close, but no, no good. Ooh, interesting. I think that was B reversal attempt from Savela. It didn't work out. Close to stun. Got him. All right, no meter to work with, though. Yeah, there it is. Build it up at the last second. Oh, the back throw missed time media again. Oh, that was so good. Oh, B reversal is good. And now the knockdown scenario. Savele is so low. 
anything to do oh, right yeah, now. Just a little jab. Stuck it out in, in preemptive of the dash. Michael now will be playing against Brent. Is wins. The homies. Oh, and Brent's stick malfunctioned earlier, so he's gonna use Savele's stick. That's the worst. Losing in tournaments, some guys like, hey man, let me get your stick, bro. And he's like, I hate your guts, but go for it. It, it, it slows down the walk away, the walk of shame after the loss. You pick up your controller and somebody, you're like, I swear to God, I'm going to kill everybody. Start hey, it. can I uh, use your stick? You're not using it, right, because you just lost. And you have to slowly hand it over to them. Like, Thanks, bro. Walk off. <laughs> He's like, hey, I'm still in the tournament, so let me grab borrow your stick uh, real quick. You're not going to need this, right? Okay, cool. Just hands it. It's like, ugh. So that's our top eight winner side. Kilby will surely show us. The other side of the bracket in just a second here. Whoa, there it is. All right, not much yet. Still working on it. So we got Futile, the only person waiting in that loser side right now. Yeah, seems like that's the uh, this, this time. They're running all those matches off stream. If you guys want to see KOF, that's going on on Twitch.tv slash Nick Tanella. But yeah, Street Fighter Top 8. This is Top 8 winner's action here. It is 1240 at night in SoCal. Cammy or Skin. Pick a good color, man. There's so many other cool colors. There's so many cool colors in this game. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's we never get to see them because yeah. you know, Capcom hates us, but. They should make the guys like a tournament Capcom. pack. They should. I don't know why they don't have like an unlock feature for TO so they can get colors or something. Fight. But also, player two can't select if they want to rematch. So there's other things going on. Mini is good for Mike. Nice jab right there. And Brent's playing the neutral. Uh, he he kind of is scared of Cammy's options. You can tell he's sort of jumping a bit, playing a bit fast. He's going to be able to juggle. Oh, wow. Nice answer here. And just the cross on it. Confirms in a beat trigger. He's going to take the damage. He already has corner positioning, so he doesn't need to save it. Oh, that's a punish. Yeah. And there it is. Stun. And that wasn't even a combo. Brent was just trying to get out of there. Those two hits. Round two. Let's see what he's going to do to change it up right now. Mike not is definitely one of those people really hard on momentum. See, that's the, the thing about Cammy, right? That same thing against Ryu. You want to answer those jumps. You see her jump, and then immediately you can't get it because of that dive kick. She does the shallow dive kick to get out of the way. Cross right. Tatsu is available. No, there's the block. Oh, it's the crush counter with the fierce. Nice Tatsu to the corner, position-wise. Really close to stun. Wake up, jab. It's the button. This half of it. Wow, nice shimmy right there. One more to close it out. With a walk what? down, and Brent lands How the beat trigger. Strong. Spends it. She does have nine on her health. So, living, but yeah, scale it's close. The... Yeah, wow. he just did it. Forward, down, down, forward. Actually, that was really bothering It's like yeah. we did it over here, blocked it, it was done. So, that was a hard, hard, hard read. One. Somebody That's told him how the story was going to end, so he just did the DP. Round one. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you got to, that's a guess, right? Ken, he wants to pressure you, and Brent typically is pretty aggressive. He wants yeah. to get in there, so not a bad read. Nice confirms. There's that pressure again. She gets that little series on you. Oh, man, just went all in. She gets a series of offense where, unless you do an invincible uppercut, you're kind of just stuck. That's really true. So it's tough to deal with. Check from Brent, other side, but the good block. There it is, he's gonna go damage. Nice, get the X fireball, pressure in the corner. Nice view reversal to get out of there. Can still a V trigger, ooh, nice. Another top two, okay. He's a few away from taking this. Oh, wow, auto correct? <gasps> no, one, Brent didn't know what side he was on. Why would you know? Like, it went on this and it came yeah, back it came this back way. came back the other side, yeah, it was so confusing. Wow, the jump, and he anti-air with jab instead of something real. If he just did uppercut. He would have killed, or even medium punch or something else. Round two. Wow, that was crazy. No answer here from Brent. He's got he's got him shook because of that dive kick in the other round. Oh wow, wake up, medium punch, DP again. And Mike L not committed to so many buttons at zero range. Crouch and jab, crouch is strong, and the strongest with him, so it's giving Brent a time to rebuttal, and it's, it's definitely working out in his favor. Yeah, and he's allowing Brent to speed things up, and the faster the pace, the better it's going to be for Brent. That's where he likes to play, and that's where mistakes can oh. kill Cammy, and there it is, that's the game. Yeah, it's, it's so fast, and Mike L. not displaying that pace he was in the first game. He's allowing Brent to dictate things, and make it kind of like this slugfest, which is what he cares about. 
Michael Nanias have like the control offense and control the neutral with his buttons and footsies. Right. Instead of dealing with this crazy like Brent's gonna jump around and get in your face and make it uh, rush down mode. And as you said before, like Mike not even doing like hard reads on like the numbers anti air. And he's like button cross yep. under. And in some instances it's good, but you have to let him know that you were are willing to DP. I mean it got you the match. Why not, you know? Right. Well, sick buffer. Nice, there's the answer again. Goes for the cross on. This is what I was talking about earlier. Oh, wow. wow. Sick Pierce. Just stuck it out. And oh. Brent really hitting lots of buttons on Wake Up getting clipped. There's a throw. Oh, tries to go for the overhead. Nice DP. That's what I was talking about. You gotta take that risk, and he's not gonna let him get away with the run there. Punish. Oh, he tried uppercut and it didn't oh work. Should be a punish. That's another Man, drop. Man, so many drops. Trigger is available. Oh, he didn't cancel into the drill. Man, Michael, no. So many missed. Oh, this is ridiculous. Have they ever played this game before, Steve? I don't know, man. We got a bunch of rookies up there. Bunch Make sure the buttons are correct. Bunch of rookies. <laughs> First day on the job. Carried all the way to the corner. Oh, and there's the uppercut. Good work from Michael, no. And now you're seeing it. Now, see, that's a good way to start it. Gets thrown in the corner. He just used it to escape, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's a lot of resources diverted. Overhead again from downtown. Close to stun. Oh, walk there it is. That's, that's the it. round for Brent. Yeah, just like that. All those resources gone for Michael. Now he spent it all just to escape and immediately got Final caught round. in the same kind of mix up he was running away from. No anti air for Mike either. Two in a row. Brent's getting away with him. Finally, yeah. Nice hard anti air right there. Crouching strong right at the tip. Oh, puts himself in the corner. Nice roundhouse to keep that pressure up. I know oh, he's fishing for the hit. Nice. Oh, he wow. tried to dive kick to get out of the way, and it wasn't. Still wasn't good. That's a good chunk of damage for Brent, although a lot of resources. And I was about to say, Candy has V trigger now. And burns it all just trying to get in. Brent is cool holding back and just hitting buttons. Yeah, just up back, just to get away. Spends V reversal. He doesn't want any of this pressure from Michael Nong. Playing it slow. Oh, he didn't confirm into anything, man. Brent, so many opportunities in this set. Gone one way or the other so far. Brent really has to figure this out. He's giving it away by jumping in and out, not trying to whip punish. No anti-air, man, Brent. Oh, man, if he loses this game. One more mistake from either player will take it. Oh, he just runs up, and man, Brent, what a heartbreaker. He goofed it up about eight times. <laughs> That's a tough one. That was a tough match. Both guys like probably don't feel great about that. There's a lot of mistakes. Another solid, solid discipline. No yeah, ideas. there were some errors. Tasty Steve had to go play Guilty Gear. No, I'm Tasty Steve. Oh, you're Tasty Steve? Yeah. That's fair. Ringe joining me on the yes, sir. Like you said, he does, uh, he's still in the Guilty Gear tournament. I think it's wrapping up pretty soon. So. Yeah, it's probably almost done. Uh, I don't know if he entered KOF or not. I don't think he did. He's been, since he was at PAX with Hero again, you know, he's probably using that as an excuse. That's what he's doing. We were booth babes at PAX. So I told you this earlier. Yeah. I got to tell the people about this segue off I had. I didn't hear about this. The segue off was ridiculous. Let me tell you what happened. I was sitting at the booth. Across from the booth that Steve and I are at, there's another booth called Law. It was for Lawbreakers. It's the game that's coming out. It's like this 5v5 shooter game. Yep. This guy has the mic. And he initiated a segue off. It was like a rap battle. He started it. He started it. Let me just say he this. He up. started And like, he tried to do a segue from what I said on the mic. I said something about HyperX. It's really sick. You guys should check it out. And he's like, the only thing cooler than HyperX is the Lawbreakers booth. And that's where he fucked up. That was the end of the it rest of his day. It was over. Because as soon as he did that, he engaged in a segue off. He that's the know. first mistake that you want to you wanna avoid against me. He's over here trying to rise up in his, you know, his bronze segue ranking. The broad segue ranking. He didn't ranking. know you were diamond. He, he didn't, didn't realize you were that I was diamond here. And I hit him with some good segues. Because he tried to say, come over here and play Lawbreakers. And I said, Lawbreakers? The most criminal thing here at PAX is the deals HyperX have, which are absolutely obscene. You guys aren't ready for it. Yeah. And we got into the segue off. It was absolute destruction. It was completely just ridiculous that he would even try to do that. They to had to cart him out of the building. They carted him out of the building. He did not make it out alive. There's a med bay somewhere in Seattle where a man with a microphone is dead. <laughs>
And someone recorded it, I think. So. Oh, yo. I'm sure it'll uh, surface, surface, surface soon enough. Winners, semis. Christopher, Tatarian, Commander, Jesse. This is going to be in winners, Round top one. three. We'll, yeah, we'll play against Michael Nunn, winners finals. Good work, Kyobi, on the stats. And this has uh, become quite the, the classic here Wednesday Night Fights. Match we see a lot. Ken fights. Oh man, just yeah, risk the DP on the way in. Yeah, just trying to catch those long limbs. Oh just, man, so many risks. But you know what? It doesn't really matter as Ken what your life bar is at because you'll get oh no, it matter with, you, with the EXP oh, Yeah. Christ. Look, Chris is gonna take all these risks because he really just needs one chance against Jesse. Well, maybe it doesn't matter. Oh, oh man, so many errors. He did it again! Oh man, if, if Jesse loses this round. Oh wow! I'm not sure what Chris was really looking for, to be honest. Maybe teleport back? Wow, meter from both guys gone now. Oh, the slide! Oh, Literally pixels out of range. Literally pixels. Round two. That's a tough one for Jesse. A bad way to start the set, as that was likely his game. If he just stepped forward before that slide. Now he's got corner already. Oh, this is the punish from Tatarian, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's when Jesse has the most issues, though, when he starts to have these drops where he misses his TK drills, or his TK teleports and his drills. This kind of spiral. Oh, man, other side. And there's a confirm from Tatarian on the target combo. Okay. Oh man, what a whip on it. Yeah, as you mentioned, corner positioning, this is tough here for Dalsum. Okay, he got out. Oh yeah, great block. Wow, the worst punish? Oh man, and he did a bad fireball in the corner. Man, Jesse. The errors could certainly cost him. Trigger pop. Good defense from Jesse. He survived. And the fireball. Yeah, that was a big commitment because it had Chris jump. We'd be talking about game one for Tatarian, but staying solid. Yeah, I think that's going to help Commander Jesse a lot mentally because, like you said, he was looking a little shaky at the end of the round. Obviously, he didn't get a good punish, but since he's able to still pull out the round, I think that should help. Man, Chris tried to take up a bunch of space. One run too many. Ooh. Ooh, he just commit to that, and Jesse didn't punish. Oh, man, you got to punish that run. You cannot let him do target combo on block in a run. Oh, punish. Yeah, Jesse got a bit of damage. It was the counter hit oh, Pierce, two in a row, actually. Oh, wow. Narrowly dodged the fireball with the guy. Yeah, it was a super creative escape. Whip punish. Oh, it's a Tarion. Took the, the big risk. Unsafe, but Jesse missed the punish. Oh, wow. EX Tatsu with a barely clip. And Chris, he's got to panic to get in now. Yeah, you see it. Whoa. Jesse with the perfect option. Slide under into the Pierce. Dalton wins. Yeah, I think, like you said, you know, he was looking a little shaky. He didn't get the best punishes, but I think really pulling that round out despite his, you know, mistakes, I think really helped him mentally for that That's what you round. have to do, man. It, if, if you can stay composed after having a tough first round, that's what you got to do. Well, corner. Yep. <laughs> All the way. It might be round one for Tatarian. Let's start it off. Doesn't get the combo off the meaty crouch uh, strong. A little bit too far. Yeah, and there was pushback on it, which happens pretty often. If you counter hit someone who's standing in this game, you get this weird pushback all the time. Okay. Stun. There it is. Round for Tatarian. Yeah, guy in the corner just did not make it out. Yeah, dude. One sweep in neutral, and it's just a round. That's, that's all it takes. Same thing with Ryu. Yeah. He's very, very good at doing the same kind of thing. And sweep is so low risk in this matchup. That was a good oh, wow. anti-air attempt. See a couple of guesses from Chris, but look at the health bar. He's, he's very... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's taking so little damage. He's already winning. Yeah, yeah. Don't make that up real quick. Those wrists are totally oh, fine wow. in this matchup. Oh, it's wow! He might actually... Is he dead? Yeah. He's dead. Yeah. Man, what a game. That was so Literally, fast. That was, game, that was all of game two. Yeah, Chris took like four wrists. It's gone. And, and like, win. they all didn't work, and Jesse got like one button punishes. And then Ken was like, dead. Yep. That was good stuff from Crystal in that first round is that even when you see people hit sweeps, they didn't, they don't corner carry like he did, you know what I mean? Yes. He swept, immediately canceled a run, and did like three dashes. Yeah. While he was dash, 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 cover all that distance. Like, a lot of other Kens would have been like, all right, I'm going to try this cross of Tatsu. Yeah. 
or I'm gonna go for safe jump or something. He was like, no. Corner this character, kill him. Yeah, that was very smart. Yeah, that, that's a very optimal way to deal with this particular matchup, especially. Ken is really great in the corner against a lot of characters, but against a character where you're not gonna win the neutral, especially like Dalsum, who has weak defense, Absolutely. you've got to corner this character. Absolutely. So here we go, game three, 1-1. One, one. Chris T able to bounce back emphatically. Round one. Okay, he, he just steamrolled Jesse that game. Throw him out of the teleport. Oh, wow. And this is a bad spot for Jesse. He's got to find a way to TK teleport out and just take the trade or something. Oh, crush counter, nice sweep. He got some space for himself, too. This stuff, a lot of stun on that bar. Yeah, Chris is going to slow down a little bit. As soon as I say that, though. Just whips out the uppercut. <laughs> Beer reversal is on deck, yeah. Nice. Man, Jesse with the space. Although, you, wow. you, we have to keep in mind those few rounds we just saw. Chris could take it off something like this. Yep. Got a little antsy, got caught by the uh, beer whistle. Yep. Other side, oh, great wow. block. He hasn't interrupted that yet, and he's going to eat so much damage because of it. Chris didn't spend the X. <gasps> Missed. Oh, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. He's dead. He blocked such a tough cross under, but then couldn't punish the run. Yeah. I, I mean, dude. Uh, target combo in a run is so unsafe. Yeah, he tried to get that punishing guys. Just the uh, the last little pixels of that down fierce and the EX flame. Upper got the limb. And he's taking a lot of space. Yeah. Oh, another DP. Man, B reversal from Jesse. It's great because he gets space. Oh, that was the sick escape. Yeah, oh, but he can't get his whole combo. Man, it's just been the story of this match so far. Jesse not capitalizing on the mistakes Chris is making. Oh, there it is. Okay, got the two piece that time. Man, actively, people actively cheering against Chris. <laughs> you know, it's because Ken players just have no friends because they play Ken. That's just the way it goes. Their only other friends are Ken players. Yeah, we, it has been proven. It's the reason they're all together in the same <laughs> fraternity or whatever they're doing over there. Oh, oh that was the great spacing. Yeah. And Chris has done a great job of, of taking calculated risks so far. That was really good patience from Chris as well. Jesse looking up to find his way in. Again, that was, that was great defense from Tatarian. He's taking a lot of damage, but so much resources to work with. Exactly. He's looking for that combo. He just he just needs that step kick to land so he can get trigger or block another normal. Yeah, now he's got V trigger on deck. Ooh, wow. Yeah, huge damage on that. Just like that, Tatarian with the lead. Cornered himself though. Yeah, you can touch him, try to get him with the cross. What a risk! He needs one more. This is the last oh, great. on the fireball. Yeah, Jesse just knows how to deal with that situation now. Got oh. him! The fierce oh. into the fireball. That was sick from Chris. Just takes that out really the last second. Like really good from Chris. The double jab pushing him out just a little bit of space. And Gets that fierce. Perfect. The slobber spot. knocker. That was sick, actually. So it's Tarian versus Mike L. Not in winners finals, the homies. And our loser's bracket is being pieced together slowly but surely. If Utah will be Ian, it's gonna be playing against Brentita next. And the other side of that, we're, we're still waiting on Valiance. Gotta wait to play uh, somebody and then after that it will be playing against Jesse. Yes sir, yes sir. Still got Brent's cool futile live in this Losers bracket. We got Bird Josh playing on Nick Tanella right now against Luis Cha. Bird Josh is over there. Bird Josh is still in the tournament. I'm not sure. It's got to be pretty far along now. Well, you guys are about to get a bird's eye view of some of the ads that we're gonna play at Wednesday Night Fights because we're taking a break. We'll see you guys soon. Wait, is this, this is a break, right? Okay.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Wednesday Night Fights 3.6. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, just wanted to double check. Yes, sir. I'm yes, here sir. with Mr. Ringe. Yes, sir. Say James is missing in action right now, but he'll be back, I'm sure, soon enough. He'll be back. As we have a, a nice match loaded up right now. Valiant versus who is it? I can't tell. He's in the covered in the hoodie and the headphones. Who is that? Rocking the socks with the chancletas. Oh, it's Valiant. Oh, that one's Valiant. Yeah, that's the one. That one's Valiant, huh? That player! Wow! Come on, Ranger. We just got here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so of course, this is a mirror. Right? God. This is going to be my equivalent. Oh, um, this is going to be your equivalent? Okay, this is going to be my equivalent. This is payback for the... Uh... Oh, this is always going to be payback. So whenever you think about messing with me. Okay. Just remember, old fucking nuts versus Valiant. Oh, this is this guy? Yeah, man. Nice tech right there. Keep it in the middle of the screen. Nice. Get to confirm in the Tatsu. Nice. Oh, wow. Can't confirm the Tatsu. Nice. Jabbing the throw. Oh, nice. High stun bar. Backdash EX Fireball. Just staying at a safe range. Oh, wow. Good crouching, yeah. strong, crouching Fierce Punch. Crouching Fierce with Ken uh, can beat a lot of ants here. It's pretty weird. Shrinks his hurt box a little bit. Nice, falls on the fireball. Oh wow, nice interruption right there. Knowing that that second hit was high on the screen, that's gonna be the round. That was really smart. Knowing that that second hit was high, goes right into Crouching Strong. Gets to confirm, ends with Tatsu. Takes the round, Valiant. Ooh. Oh wow. So with the wake up uppercut, responds with the jab and the target combo. Nice, throw into the corner. Oh wow, nice throw. Another one, oh wow, actually just missed time the meeting. Wow, hits the jab and then follows up with a crush counter sweep. <laughs> what the? Whoa. Wow, that was a hard read on that jump. Roundhouse is blocked. Roundhouse right in the sweep. That is negative four. Nice. That's, oh, wow. Drops it. Yeah, it canceled a little bit too late. Tries to go for the neutral jump. Nice speed reversal. The music tensions. Uh, oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, try for that crouch for his anti air again, but Air Tatsu has some weird properties of its own. And Valiant. Pretty clean Can first be. match right there. Oh, bugging it. <laughs> Mulling it over. I think one of my highlights of tonight has been hearing his name be called over the, uh, the house mic. Ooh, nice. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Around I apologize. Oh, nice neutral jump. Get the target combo. Nice pressure. Oh, wow. the roundhouse. Get that space back. Oh, no, confirm off the jab. Wanted to go for a throw after. He triggers right into the crouch low into the Man. ground. Open him up pretty clean right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fucking us just seems like uh, he's not ready to react to some of the Ken, the, the Ken classic setups, man. Ooh. That or Valiant has oh, really wow. caught him up on a crouching strong. Crouching strong counter is three, it's a super. Okay, Valiant, with them young man moves. That look like a link. Nice. Oh, thought he was gonna get something started right there. Chooses to back up instead. Gives up a little bit of that space. Back still closer to the wall than Valiant. Uh oh, there it is. Back strong in the careers. Gets to Tatsu. Oh wow, close for the face. Crush counter again on that roundhouse. He's gonna take it with the EX. It's really smart. Yeah, that's too old quick for Valiant. I think old fucking us really just let Valiant play his game and yeah. like played at his pace and didn't really try to enforce his offense or his setup. So yeah, and and you can tell because. There was a lot of instances where he just seemed like he was genuinely like, like he didn't know what to do. So, especially yeah, you know, in, you know, I would say in the mirror, but if you're fighting any can. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah, and there's, you know, there's plenty of times where people know their character, but fighting the mirror is always uh, strange. Exactly, exactly. So next up, we have Commander Jesse. Commander Jesse. All against, he's going against Versus Valiant. Valiant. Yeah. yeah. And Commander Jesse's one of those, man, this... Every week this guy comes out, and it's kind of amazing to me because 
he legit plays so hard. And he always places around top eight, you know, top four sometimes. Yeah. So he's generally in that same vicinity. A very good player. Valiant, definitely not as consistent, but definitely without a question, a great player. Absolutely. Valiant's been on the come up since Street Fighter V has right. come out. I've played him online a bunch. He's a, he's a really smart guy, but to be a really smart guy, you should go to Road to SCR. Yeah. Oh, that was kind of slick. No, that's all right. That was kind of slick. It's actually just you got to go online. It's free online, so you're getting four terms. You're going to win a free flight to SCR right. every Thursday at 6 p.m. starting September 8th. That is tomorrow. Oh, wow. Register at smash.gg slash rtscr1. Four that, chances. That threw me the hell off. That link, I thought there was no D at the end. How are you just going to do RTSS here? RTSCR. Wow. Oh, so it's just rush. Wait, what? You're right. Rush, rush that. Uh, SoCal Regionals. Okay, well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> threw me off, right? I can see why, that, I can see why that threw you off. Shout out to the RTSDs in chat. Commander Jesse versus Valiant. Let's see, what he, let's see if anything changes. But yeah, um, he did. Uh, somebody I saw somebody asking Chad Valley, didn't he play Bison before? He did. Yeah. He started playing Bison. Like a lot of us Bison players, one including myself, we made a switch to a better character. Wow, he's not that bad. Shout Bison's out fun, but you can play Ken. Valiant made the decision I did. Oh, nice. Gets the stand. <laughs> oh, wow. Tags the, the limb coming back. Nice. Gets the jump in roundhouse. Yeah. Nice push to the corner. It's going to be interesting to me because Commander Jesse has so much Ken experience at this point. Yeah, exactly, man. You got to remember, he probably fights at least two or three Kens every Wednesday night fight. On top of that, some of the, some of the best Kens in the country, if not the best. Yeah, absolutely. Not only does he fight those top-level Kens, but, I mean, we have Kens that you don't even see on stream here at this tournament that you have to go through. Ooh. And that's a good first round. Commander Jesse showing his experience in the matchup. Round two. See if we can keep this momentum going. Ooh, stand fierce, but gets met with a crouch wrong. Oh, wow. Can. Nice. Gets the bait. Double crouch uh, fierce to get the combo. And you be really careful. If that was some knocks now, you gotta think once or twice before you just get up. Yeah. Gets the confirm standing round. Activate the Overhead. Yeah, that's true. And Valiant just rushing it down. The real wall. Nice. I like that. Trying to hold hold back on the screen just so he has to walk to the fire. You can see, see he still has a little gray life up there. Yep. Just reforming back now from Mary Jesse using that V skill. Oh, God. Recovered just in time. Commander Jesse. Valiant just kind of closing his will, but Commander Jesse. Uh, as far as takeaways from that first game, I think Valiant did let him get away with a few teleports. Uh, that were not safe. So you just got to be on the lookout for that. Obviously, there's a lot of things that have been coming at you with Dalsim from a lot of areas on screen. So it's hard to keep it in mind. But you got to do it if you want to be someone of the caliber of Commander Jesse. That's 100% true. And you can see Jesse not trying to give up the ground he has right now. Wants to be at a range where he can slide on reaction to jump and still have a nice clean anti-air button. You don't want to catch that, uh, that late Tatsu coming down. So you got to be really careful. Nice. Ooh, V reversal, trying to put him towards that corner. And you can see Valiant's approach changed just a little bit. Wow, threw him off with that jump right there. Could have had a combo, no confirm. This is tough for the other side, Command Jesse winning the positioning war now. Oh, good anti here with the jab. Oh, tries for the throw just out of range, though. Oh, teleport. Oh, wow. Nice DP from Valiant. Saw that with Chris T. Put that to work. Tried to get him with a shimmy. It didn't work. But it was nice. Oh, wow. And that shimmy worked, though. And, man, I saw Commander Jesse do that exact thing against Christy, and Christy just sat there. Yeah. Man, it's hard. It's hard to just sit there against stuff like that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, yeah, Valiant, despite not, you know, making top three the most, is definitely always in that top eight round. Earning himself a lot of points this season. Wow. Oh, three throws in a row. Give me a four. Oh, he tried he it. got it. Oh. Over here, low. I would have went low. And right now, Commander Jesse needs to make something happen. Wow. And holding the back of that screen just to make him walk through some of that gray life. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, caught him off guard. Full combo. Burn. In the front. And right now, you see a complete turnaround. Tries to shimmy him again. This time, 
Gets him with the sweep. Crouch strong. Oh. Huh. And that's gonna be it. This up, this up. I wonder after that crouch strong why he waited there. I was wondering what he was trying to look for because I don't think he had V reversal meter either. Wait, you're talking about uh that at the very end right there when he was like crouch strong in a V trigger and he just sat there and blocked? Yeah. I think uh yeah, I'm not sure what that was about. Because I don't think Dawson had V reversal meter. I think that's really the only thing he would do in that situation that well wouldn't let you pressure. Probably tried to teleport. Probably thought he was gonna either teleport, try to hit him with the overhead, probably wait for a uh, reaction. That does happen a lot. A lot of people freeze up in that match because that's one of the things that I was talking about. You don't know when he's going to teleport. Yeah. Especially after a situation where he's just like, slide, trigger, do something, you know? Yeah. In the first match, he did open him up with like a knockdown in the flame, in the trigger, teleport, uh, light kick. Okay. So. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As we move on, it will be Commander Jesse going against another Ken. And like Brandon's said cool. before, man, like one of the... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Killer Miller with the... With the Bringing back her high school days. Right. With these radiant cheers. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. You get a handshake. But yeah, I, I think this no. is a uh, Commander Jesse versus the top 10. So this happens almost every week, almost on stream every time. So he's just really used to the situation now. Not only playing against Ken's, not only playing against high level Ken's, but playing against Ken's on stream in tournament. And that's what makes you always. I like to see Jesse fight other Ken players. Because I like to see what he takes away from matchups like this. You know, yep. find somebody right. like Brent is cool every week. That's definitely all. gets you a resistance. Yeah. Yeah. As we, we start off very disrespectful, we get the jump in full combo into the throw. And now we get a jab combo all the way into the stun. This round seems to be already over, Tasty Steve. Nah, I ain't over yet. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. And on top of that, Ken doesn't have any V-trigger. Oh, well, Ooh, nice shimmy. The stun bar is in a different direction now. What the? Like I said, man. He fights this a lot. Gets the knockdown. Oh, wow, he can punch it. Gets the crush counter. Archie. Oh, and he brought it all the way back. Commentators, curses, and full wow. effect. Wow, wow, you're a bad person. How Good do you Lord. sleep tonight, man? Good Lord. Just call this dude a loser. I am sorry. I thought that round was over. That's pretty far away. Is that going to hit? Nope. Sends out the sun. Nice. Oh, wow. That's why you have to be careful. Oh, that was sick. That was crazy. Oh, he teleports over. It's and that good. wasn't even That's a combo. A perfect... It didn't even combo. He was too high to get that combo with Dawson. He just caught him hitting the button. Yo, Commander and Jesse. Chris T appears out of thin air. <laughs> He's like a genie. Yo, he was like, look, man, I don't know what you're doing, but you're getting me killed, dude. You're not even playing. You're getting me killed. <laughs> Fight. All right, Brent shakes it off. Oh, oh wow, he tries to catch a land. Nice, Ooh, he's definitely skilled, skilled yep. to get in there. Yeah, push it towards the corner, nice jump in. Looked like it was going to cross up, but he landed in front. Nice, gets the throw into the corner, of course. Oh, wow, needy. Wow, wake up, light kick Tatsu? Yes, three frames. Not invincible, but it is three frames. Nice, gets the back first, standing first, and we're in Stun City again. Commander Jesse is looking uh, dominant. What did I say, man? Fights Kins every week. The best Kins in the country. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh my god, back in front. It's no gonna be stun, super close to stun. But he's too. really close. Alright, let him breathe. Wow. Hit the throw. Brent is cool, needs to make something happen. Goes for the neutral jump, of course he's gonna slide out, and it is looking really bad for my boy right now. Just to get in there. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's punishable. And Commander Jesse content with just sitting there blocking. Christy walks off scratching his chin like, all right, Dolphin. Mr. Commander Wait. Jesse might be in rare form. Grabs his controller, comes up to face Mike L. Knox. That was an impressive, very impressive game from Commander impressive. Jesse. Most impressive. <laughs> he uh, just displayed the complete and utter knowledge of the matchup. That was nuts. Shouts to uh, to Wizard at Fights giving him that matchup experience. Holy crap. And shouts to Commander Jesse putting all that knowledge to, to great work. Like Is I said, fights the best Kens in the country. Not all, but some of the best Kens in the country. Almost every week here it wins on that fight. Yep. Do you really think he's not going to be ready? Fight. 
Yeah, you see so many, even you see so many players play against the same thing, but they don't make those adjustments, you know? So you got to give Commander Jesse props to not only having to deal with this Ken every week, but he's figuring out stuff to, to make it more even. Right. So here we go. This is Winner's Finals, ladies and gentlemen. It will be Mike Elnar versus Chris T, another Wednesday Night Fights Classic. You guys have uh, known each other for quite a while and played each other for quite a while. We saw Mike Elnar bust out the cami earlier. That's what he beat Brandon's cool with, so I, I suspect that since it's another Ken, he'll be sticking with cami. Yeah, he might be a little more confident in that matchup. But I'm pretty sure in Cross Tekken, that was the team he played, right? Didn't he play like Cammy Vega or? I just know him as a Vega player. But, um, or was it? No, no, I thought it was a Vega Kuma, but I'm pretty sure it was Vega Kuma. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, remember. remember. Right. Always had a super solid Vega, but it doesn't seem like he likes uh, the Ken Vega matchup. So. Oh, I, don't, I actually don't know if he switched to Cammy altogether, so. Could be that. Who knows? I mean, we have these every week. Maybe he just wanted to try his luck, you know? Absolutely, and it seems to be getting him pretty far if that's the case, because he is in winner's finals. Yeah. Round one. Oh, he oh wow. Tatarian. Mike Elna, matching okay. outfits. As Kyobi just informed you guys, this is Mike L's, Mike Elna's first top three. Oh, sweet. Ooh, I'll have to start it off, but gets met with a crouch medium. It's a spiral arrow. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, you man. They dive kick. Nice jump in right there. Standing roundhouse. And Mike Ilhan not committed. We saw this last oh. game. Not committed to any of these. On the main end here. Not going to spin it off. Okay, yeah. This again. Oh, gets it this time. Finds a hit. Lots of damage in that stun bar. It's looking quite oh, yeah. in Mike Ilhan's favor right now. Wow, so crouching he, strong, EX fireball. And you, what you saw there was Chris T woke up with Light Tatsu into V Trigger immediately. That's actually like plus nine. Nice. Ugh. Good walk up there. Ooh. Oh, clips the tail end of it. I feel like Mike Ill now wanted that to happen, but just didn't expect it to hit. Wow, you see Chris T playing at that rank where he can react to the jump in. Nice for skill. Absolutely. Ooh, another fireball, another fireball. That's what I was talking about, man. Like, that, that spacing is superb. Nice. Right in the super. Definitely not going to kill, but it'll be pretty good. Yeah, he might die from an overhead after. Yeah, he will if he gets hit. Nice. Crouching short. Good start to the round with Chris Tatarian, or good start to the set, I should say. That's the entire first game. Player one. Has the, of course, Chris I think, taking three. third at uh, first attack in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Third. Fight. Lost to uh, Go One and Goichi and Takeichi. Is that his name? Well, yeah, Don took something like that. The Rishi player he didn't lose to? Him? Yeah. Very good Rishi player. Takeichi. I mean. Yeah, John Takeichi. Nice. Beat the punch DP on wake up. You see that stun bar going down. And the first bar call out, nice. And now you see Christy second guessing his buddies right now. High stun bar. Can Mike Elnaw finally find the opening? Not quite yet. D Sugar's out. What are we doing? Nice punish on the run right there. Yeah, we saw it. Say that was killing Sejam Soul earlier. When yeah. he would go into target combo and run, and people were just weren't punishing it. Very nice from Mike Elna. Mike Elna, one match away. This is when his finals go, correct? Okay. It's actually 1 0, Chris. Did he over here, man? He got it. Okay. As we're back at it, gets the, gets the throw to put him in the corner. Oh, God. Oh. Goes for the cross under. Oh, wow. Nice read. Straight into the ESD. He wants all the damage he can. Wow. Does the double dash just to make you think he's going to hit a button. Oh, nice. Yeah, that did so much damage. Oh, my God. Now, that did a lot of damage. Oh, oh it's the throw. Oh, tried to get him with the shimmy. 
that's negative two. Of oh, course! That's only negative two, like I said. <laughs> that's only negative two. <laughs> Final round. Fight. Oh, man. Chris Tataria. He's staying at that range all set for where he could most likely react to the uh, EX dive kick, even though he didn't that time. Like a little bit more e skill usage, maybe for Michael. No, he's going for that cross up, nice. but this time just waits. Still eats a DP for it, though. Nice crouching jab confirmed. Oh, oh finds a hit and no oh, confirm. Oh, okay. Confirms it doing the V trigger activation. What the hell? All right, yo, that was nuts. Okay, good stuff. Can win. Can be wins. This one up. Yo, he feeling it. You see, he want to smile. He's like, God damn, that's sick. <laughs> I gotta wipe my mouth to make sure. I don't vomit. That was <laughs> that was sick. Round one. That was pretty sick. Yo, Mike L. Now play of the day right there, man. All right, one one, first to three. Mike L. Now with a sick ass comeback right there. Oh, that's oh wow, DP. no crush counter though. Oh, nice. DP of his own. And now let's see what changes. Because now that he knows that he's willing to do those DPs on wake up and calling them out on jump in. Wow, nice back throw. Oh wow, what's the light kick into a throw? That was deceptive. Nice. Double V reversal to stop all that nonsense. Finds the hit with the dive kick. No kill, that's gonna be it. Gotta go for the wake up DP. Yo, Kiobi, I like these transitions, baby. The old page out of there, I like it, man. All right, let's go. Game three, round two. Mike Elna up one, and you see Mike Elna settling in. Like, yo, you know what? I feel like I could do this. Oh, wow. Nice buttons here by Chris T. Not letting Mike Elna get crazy. Oh Everybody knows that's what Cammy wants. And this time, goes for the cross on him. Throws the wow, B reversal. Really nice quick tech. Finds the hit again, and it is not looking good. Burns it all. Gets the damage. That stun bar. Gets to confirm. For the V skill activation. Full bar for Chris Terrian. Oh no, you're dead. Wow. Reacts to the whiff throw with a stand oh, fierce wow. into the V skill. Combo easy. Oh, nice. The changes are art just a little oh, bit. Oh, God. Nice. Looks nice like chunk of life. DP directly in a super. Almost half life. Okay, nice V reversal. Don't burn it. There you go. Oh, oh, gets the shimmy. Nice. Now you hit him. The stun is really high. Wow, you saw how confident he was? Just walked up, didn't jump, didn't stutter. Yep. Committed oh, to wow. it and falls out of the EX Tatsu. Uh-oh. Oh! Wow. Oh, wow. 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 Very close third game for Mike Elna and Chris T. Just a few whiffs, just a few, few buttons not quite reaching. Whew. And it's crazy because Mike L. Now was playing so well. Yeah. Oh my God. This is when he gets oh that offense God. going on Cammy, it's pretty ridiculous. One. For sure. Round one. Fight. All right, we're going into game four. Chris T is up 2-1. This is your winner's final set. Buttons. Got him in the corner now. Oh, good pressure. It's one of the fierce doesn't confirm though. Go forward. Nice. See Christy buffering, looking for something. Michael not playing a little better this time around. Really close to stun. There's the tech. Standing roundhouse confirmed so in the V trigger from Tatsu. See what the mix up is. Oh, actually, with the stand media could get to a crouch strong. Nice wait right there. Yeah, that was really disappointing. Oh my god, Chris T. Really close to the round. Nice jump roundhouse. Oh my god. Oh my I god. If you look at the slow blinks, that's pissivity in its element right there. Round Did you see two. how slow he was blinking? He was like, I can't <laughs> believe this shit. <laughs> like, I know he was mad. Yo. I was mad with him. Chris T didn't fall for a frame trap, just sat there, got thrown, and then played up. 
some of the most solid the game I've ever oh. seen. See, this is frustration setting in right now. How do you not get frustrated at the way that last round ended? Big Tech, really smart. Yeah, what's up to Mike Hill not to regain that composure? He's still in a good spot. I think that was a bad activation. I think he was looking so hard to find a hit that he was willing to burn all of his V-Trigger. Now he's in a bad position. Because now he's not going to have any V-Trigger. He's going to have far, but... Oh, it's a fake. Bro. And that will be that. Yeah, see, that last match was pure frustration after that. Can win. All right, so, waiting on our next match. Hope you guys are enjoying yourself. This is Wednesday Night Fights 3.6. Hope you guys are liking it. Yes, sir. If you just happened to tune in, that was Winner's Finals. Chris T versus Mike El Na. Chris T will be awaiting in Grand Finals Winner's Side. Is Commander Jesse still alive? Well, still alive. We got Mike El Na, obviously, since he just lost the Winner's Finals. And I'm sure we'll have a bracket or something soon. But yes, sir. Thank you for joining us. I know we are late into the evening already, 1.30 uh, Pacific time. So thank you for whoever, if it's Thursday morning fights for you or wherever you are in this part of the world. Thank you for tuning in. Let's take a look at those brackets. All right, so we got Mike L. versus Commander Jesse. Oh, that's all we got Losers left. Losers final. Yeah, that's it. And then we got Grand Finals. Where the hell is Sajam? Where's CJ? Uh, Are you still in gear? Did you get the I am still What's, in gear. Why isn't gear over? I don't know. I was. I think I'm in losers final. What in the world? I think I'm in losers final in gear. I beat Viteru. I don't know. I lost Sejam to Julian, is. the beautiful dude. Oh, Sejam is playing. Sorry guys, he betrayed you. Wow, he's playing. Who's he he's playing? He's playing Rip. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Tasty Steve on the mic as usual. Big ups to Tasty Yo, Steve. Yo, what's up, Ben? I just saw this dude up at PAX. He was one of the oh, people that man. came up. And he always candid, always trying to snap a photo with me. <laughs> so now, like, I'm expecting that. Now I'm always going to be on guard. If Ben is around, I'm waiting. Like, I know Ben here. <laughs> I got to be fly just in case he asks me for a photo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out to HyperX. Treating my boys right. See, you guys had a great time. Yo, shout out to HyperX. And I ain't going to even stunt. Damn. These headphones are pretty on point. I, I can't even front. <laughs> so Dawson versus Cammy. This can be a tricky one. Dawson can win this matchup, but Cammy is all too mobile for this to even make a difference. Oh, wow, man. And shout out to versus Scotland, man. Um, just gave me a follow. However, they are over in Scotland, so I hope I hope they like what they're Round seeing right one. now. This sir, is the winner's finals. Fight. Chris Tatarian waiting in the wings. They wow. got the, the beef stage, so they're probably changing it because of that. I assume. I can't remember who let the beef stage rock. I feel I thought Commander Jesse let it rock. That was last week, too. Alright, let's go. Mike Ilna, coming from, you know, a pretty... <laughs> That last game, man, he was super mind fudge, man. He, he did not know what was happening. All right, let's go. Round one. Fight. Here we are. Imagine if he was to test Mike Elna early with the long limbs, but Mike Elna's already in, man. Now one dive kick has just been putting him in the corner and keeping him there since. Nice, nice. slide out how we turn around the momentum. Nice teleport back right there. And made Michael not waste some of his bar. Yep. Nice buttons. You can see uh, Michael not isn't jumping at, the, at that range because he knows that Dawson can slide at any point in time and they might put him in a great position. Had the bar to be reversed with the B trigger from Dawson, but chose not to. Oh, wow. Tries to shimmy him out. Michael not not biting. Crouching round, uh, fierce. Oh, wow. You see Michael not trying to hit those limbs on the way back. Nice. Gets the hit. And right now, looking like he's in control of this round. Ooh, nice gets the back throw. throw. Wow. Gets back the back fierce. fierce. Here. Roundhouse, good block from Michael not Kamara. Jesse living on a pixel. And you can tell he's trying to get into that rank. Oh. oh, my God. Sick with punish. 
That was so dope. Buttons in the wind. That was so dope. Nice. Oh. Oh, right man. to the stun. Not gonna quite do it, but you come close. Oh, this is gonna be the star right here. Wow. He knew. <laughs> he knows. Yo, Mike El Nah. <laughs> Don't do that setup, I guess. He looks like, yeah, that's what I thought. Thought this was over, Mr. Jesse. Thought you was gonna get a free ride. Not today. Not today. Sir, yes, sir. Mike Elna looks like he's Round really jealous with Cammy, honestly. Fight. He hasn't hit every combo or anything. He still looks uh, maybe a little bit rough around the edges, but I think he's jealous with the character pretty damn well, considering he's in uh, top three. Oh, don't hurt. So close to stun. That's exactly what you want, though. Oh, perfect. Just throw. Ooh, teleports to the other side with the. Jump, medium kick. As yeah. Round two. Yeah, I definitely got my guilty gear match coming up. <laughs> all right. It's all right. It's all right. Yo, Mike, I'm not commander Jesse. Oh, long distance fierce. Nice. Yeah, ah, wow, the slide in the spiral. Oh God. Standing fierce. Wow. Stand strong. Stand strong. Oh. Yeah. Gonna V trigger. Actually catches the teleport. Isn't gonna pull combo. Nice. Gets the roundhouse. Oh, wow, another trade. Oh, trying to get us like the V-Skill, but Mike, or uh, Commander Jesse landed, no problem. You always see Commander Jesse, once he gets that cross-up roundhouse, he just holds back, because he wants you to try to hit a button, and a lot of times he's baiting out, waiting for you to hit a button, or throw, so he can do crouching fierce, back, uh, medium kick, flank. Really good adjustments from uh, Commander Jesse in the second game. I really want to give like Chris T like Round some one. type of Madden tablet, you know what I mean? So you just draw on the screen himself. Nice. Shoots the back dash instead of DP. I like it. Finds the hit. Nice combo right there. Once again, if you're just tuning in, this is Losers Finals. 1-1, one, one. Mike not command Jesse. We're we'll going to three. Oh, nice DP. Just keep him at bay with the buzz. Oh, even when he gets cornered, nice slide. So the trigger goes forward and then hits him with a little bit of a shimmy to end the round. Commander Jesse is looking like he's found his rhythm in this matchup. Ooh, just dash forward fierce now. Slide chilling across the screen. Mike Elnar really looking for a way to approach this puzzle. Tries for a delayed uh, dive kick off a of jump in. Nice Let's find the throw. Stand medium kick, long distance, nice roundhouse. Block my knock on now. Wow, as soon as he lands, gets the slide. Oh, nice teleport out. You just see Mike Elna walking up. Oh, oh. cross on it. Mike Elna went for the throw bait too, but he just wasn't quite quick enough on the fierce. <laughs> Try to go for the instant dive kick right there, but he didn't have it actually any the X. Oh, finds the hit. Nice confirm. Burns it all really smart, has the life lead, still has a nice chunk of great life building up there. Yeah. Any normal is going to do a shit ton of damage, and there it is. Oh, wow, tries oh. to get the confirm on the end. There's Commander Jesse. Wake oh. up, and that was so smart because he did not know what side he was teleporting it was. on. It was. Final round. Mary Jesse's been favoring that same side teleport this uh, tonight, really. So it's good recognition for Mike Elna. Mike Elna is definitely finding the hits. But he's too far to actually get the confirm. Yeah. In the cannon drill. Oh, Find nice. The Burns it all. Really smart. Yeah, Wants that throw. damage. Oh, keeps him in the corner as well. Good stuff. Wow. Wow. I can't believe that medium combo would actually be uh, strong. No V reversal available. Still looking to open up with the oh, pressure. Oh, both for the throw. Whew. Mike El Nah. Coach Chris T. Get to, yeah, 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 that's fine. Uh, Tasty Steve's gonna have to go 
play his mashing guilty gear. I'm sure he'll lose and be back in a moment. I think he's gonna try to grab Say Jam or Rip. Yeah, he's gonna try to grab one of them. But if not, it's all good, man. I'll just Joey Styles this shit. Here we go. Stand fierce with punish on this uh, stand medium kick from Dawson. Try to teleport to the other side, but blocked. Drill lands low enough to give him some advantage after allowing him to press the button for success. What are we doing next? Slow down the pace. Another great whiff on from Mike Elnoff. Stand fierce the long distance. Boy, EX dive to knock him out of the air. Can't quite get the full combo. Nice tech throw. Yeah, it was a really good dive kick positioning. Again, another throw from Commander Jesse, putting him in the corner. What's next? Nice, that's advantage. Yep, good stuff from Mike Elnoff. Not biting. Oh my goodness, what a throw bait. Into another throw in the corner again. Roundhouse. Side switch because of the slide. Side switch again because of the slide. What we got next? Oh, wow. He tried to whiff punish something, but it was just a fierce. It went below. Wow, that's a very tense round. Teleporting in and out. Trying to base something. Look at, oh, my God, from Mike Elna. And he got it successfully. And then he is with the instant overhead at the end. Holy shit. Commander Jesse is on his stuff. Round two. Fight. Nice throw. See if Commander Jesse can put him into the corner. Try to tie this up 2 2. Oh, cannon spike bait. Big combo. Stun's almost there. What are we doing? Oh, tried for a weird type cross up setup. That was another really good uh, dive kick position. That's why he just back dash. Hits him with a throw. So close to stun as he runs into a stand strong. And that should be round two for Commander Jesse and a tied losers finals. Dalton wins. Whew. As I'm going to have Sejam join me back on the mic for the remaining match. Good evening, morning, Tasty whatever. Steve assigned the Tasty Jam signal. It was up in the air. <laughs> yeah. A jar of smuckers <laughs> over the Gotham night sky, and I'm here. Yes, it is. 2-2. We're going to the last game in Losers Finals between Commander Jesse and Mike Elnoff. Winner plays Chris Tatarian. Absolutely. Man, I didn't even watch the tournament, and I know. <laughs> Wins and I fights has a script. You guys just don't know. I just I read the script before I come here, and I know it. Oh, base the can spike again. Close to stun. Oh, close to stun. This has been the story of the set. Can stun left and right. Oh. Man, Jesse's control is so good, although he cornered himself. Anti here, yeah, reaches out and touches. What? Oh, all the all the dashes. Okay. Yeah, a little, little crouching light kick there. Snuck in by Commander Jesse. <laughs> just says, let me put this right here. Let me just place this in your lap. Here we go. Just hold on to this for me. Oh wow! Teleport to the other side. Not gets the air here. It's not much after. Yeah, he was he was too high yeah. to, to really hit anything. The walk down pressure, Jesse's defense good so far. I think Jesse's, uh, his drill positioning has been really good this set too. It's really hard to do, especially against a character with an uppercut. Other side, but great blocks from Mike. Ooh. Great oh, escape, yeah, wow. he sensed that Mike not wanted to take advantage of critical art. Not dead. Close. Same oh, that would have done it. Oh. But he didn't get the proper punish, okay. Jesse could still lose this round, but it's going to take a couple of great series from Mike Elnaw. That's the start. Punish. Oh, man. He could have still got there and punished it. Jesse looking for anything in a trigger. He gets it. Antier and the sniper. That's the one. Mike Elnaw going to go home with third place. Christopher Tatarian versus Commander Jesse is going to be our grand final. Yes, sir. Here at Wednesday Night Fights. Something dot something. 3.6. 3.6. 3.6. Do we have the standings on deck? Perhaps Kyobi. Kyobi gives me one of those. He gives me the big one finger. Uno momento. That's what he hits me with. All right. That's fair. Boom. There they are. There they are. Wow. So these dudes. Chris Tatarian's got to catch up. Commander Jesse in first place, and he's in grand finals. Uh, just two more after this in the season. So he's sitting pretty nice. If Tatarian wins tonight, Jesse should still be in the lead. But uh, he'll be uh, he'll be catching up slowly. So Jesse looking like he's gonna be in first place. What is the prize for winning first here? Do we know, Kyobi? Do you have any idea? A jar of smuckers? Yeah, I know who, who wins. What the do they winner win? gets a free trip to this event right here. The Brooklyn Beatdown, which is going down at ESL One. That's October first through the second, same weekend as TwitchCon. Ooh. It's a pretty packed weekend. If you guys want to head over, check it out. The Brooklyn Beatdown should be an awesome event by. ESL, they're throwing down for you guys. 75,000 bison bucks on the line. Collect those dictator dollars. 
Make sure to stuff them in your pocket. Should be a good one. Uh, and you can register for the tournament now if you guys want. It's gonna be in New York. Should be an excellent one. I'm looking forward to it personally. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Beginning of October, that's just a month away as we are well into some September. Yeah, we are. Huh? It's crazy. I left. It right was before. just August. Yeah, I left in August, and now I feel like we're halfway through September. It's when crazy. I got back. Round one. Time flies as we are in grand Fight. finals. Commander Jesse on the losers' side, Carissa Terrian on the winners. Wow. Ooh, wow. Jesse's defense, dude. To wait that long and yeah. not hit a button. Both of them have been showing some incredible discipline on the defensive side. Jesse cornered himself. He missed the jump back drill, and because of that, Tatarian got to take the spacing. Man, the delay and hit confirm on the target combo. Afterwards, you notice when he gets the uppercut? Oh, man. Not stunned, but close. Yeah. And there it is. It's around for Tatarian. So when he hits that uppercut ender, he whiffs the stand medium kick to time his meaty correctly. Okay. Um, and there's a couple of setups where Ken can use some whiff stand medium kick for that. Tatsu mid screen, too. So he tries for a. Throw bait from quite a ways away, did not work. He's gonna be able to combo off it, yeah. Nailed the spacing on that. Yeah, too, too uh, greedy on the dash forward from Jesse. Oh, wow. Same thing from Tatarian, he got the double run. Yeah, I was gonna say, was that double run? Oh. Out of the air. Nice. Combo, but from Tatarian, it was counter hit, but he didn't confirm it. He's one hit away from having this with all these resources on deck. Nice view reversal. Doesn't want to deal with the beat trigger from Dawson. And, and Slugfest here in Tatarian's favor. He'll take it all day. And there it is. Yeah, that's just the the, the kind of game Tatarian wants to play. The speed that he wants to play. The pace is great. Uh, that's all he's looking for. That that frantic thing where Jesse doesn't have time to establish the slow game. That was really smart too. View reversal straight into dash short. You know? that's, yeah, it's so good. Because right there, Ken gets a guaranteed one. check with a button. So Jesse kind of has to sit there. Tatarian knew, all right, he's just going to sit there. So I'm going to take the dash forward. A slider with a tech throw. We get a drill, though. But yeah, hit a little bit too high for a good combo. Crystal, no punish. You oh, can just step wow. kick that on reaction. Crush. Got the slide even, too. Man, Tatarian with a wake up walk backwards. Fierce. Bad spot for Jesse. Yes, oh. meaty jabs. All right, Jesse fights out. Oh, he missed it! So Man, there's been so many he of those kind of errors. Life, though. Is he dead? No. Huge damage. Tarion, this time the fake step kick. First game was closed out. First game, first round was closed out by the same series. In the stun, it was real step kick this time. Fake step kick low. So smart. That's good work. All right, Jesse gets counter hit combo, and he has a teleport mix up for himself, but the Tarion's on the mark. Man, Ooh. his offense and defense. So, so strong. Jesse getting clipped here. Close to stun. If he gets stunned, it's the game. That's the reversal. Yeah, the spacing of his Fierce tonight is immaculate, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Tatarian's so good about fishing with Fierce and turning it into damage. Oh, he dropped oh, the confirm. Now it's probably low forward. Yeah. He wanted to counter hit confirm. Trigger for Tatarian. That's that crouching medium punch you keep seeing. And that's the round for Jesse. Scrappy round, but he took it. See Chris sticking out that low medium punch. He really just wanted to pop Final it in the trigger, but he didn't get a chance. Fight. Oh, he did the throw. Does he spend it? He does. <laughs> Big lead for Tatarian. Yep, also has corner. corner. Yep. Bad spot. Jesse's got to guess a few times. Has the V trigger and no view reversal from Tatarian. Gave up the corner with that jump. Has it now. The float on the other side, and Tatarian tried to uppercut. He didn't get it. The V reversal's on deck. Oh, slides out of the fireball. Gets the counter hit back uh, medium. Oh, he got uppercut on that. Well, this is going to be a bad guess for Tatarian. Doesn't oh, have V trigger wow. either. Oh, goes all in. Keeps himself safe. Jesse with the combo. He needs one more to take the round. Try to bait the wow, that was such a risk. Great block. And the punish from Tatarian. That was an all-in sniper from Jesse. Yeah, that was scary stuff. You say, what did he do before that? That was pretty punishable too, right? The round, the full screen Yeah, roundhouse, right. right? And, and Chris just jumped out Ooh. of the way. Had he blocked, he would have been in great shape. That was a, yeah, some risky stuff from Kamara Jesse. Round Almost one. paid off, but not quite. Fight. Chris T staying solid. Takes a 2-0 lead, too. This is a yeah, tournament point. Oh, wow. Yeah, the great slide? Jesse's been trying to deal, use that to deal with anti airs because, man, it's so hard to anti air can. Yeah. Jump Tatsu, jump EX Tatsu, regular jump in. 
All the options on deck. It's tough to stop all of them. Absolutely. So you've just been sliding to avoid it. Yeah, see, slide under again. Darian still has trigger on deck. Popped. And Jesse with the teleport away. All right, that was a great escape. Yeah, good punish as well on the fireball. Darian, one more from taking this round. Jesse needs to keep his defense on point. Honestly, oh, that was sick. Oh. But yeah, that's a trade. It's Darian now tournament point. Steamrolling Commander Jesse in Grand Finals. Did you see Chris versus uh, Miguel not at all? I saw a little bit. Okay, did you see when he did the uh, the Tatsu into the DP? Yeah. Oh, wow, I'm looking for that again. The V-Trigger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is the goods. Oh my, no check from Jesse. He even gets counter hit after the run. V reversal. And it's Tarion on the prowl in the corner. Close to the stun. There it is. Yeah, that is the tournament over. That's going to be the tournament. Christopher Tatarian is going to be interviewed by Rin. Ken wins. I just wanted to I just want everyone to know that I clearly won the fucking getaway from the interview, but since I'm a nice guy, say you what? You got it? You got it? Well, you're gonna do Okay. All right, I'll handle this. I did have it fair and square, but you know. All right, man. So I'm here with Chris Tatarian. Chris, what did you think about your performance tonight at Wednesday Night Fights? Bro, it was sick, dude. I hit him with a bunch of stuff, bro. It was great. That was that was that. Wait, say, say hey, wait, that. Was that, was whoa, that, what whoa. was that? What was that? Oh, I don't hear you. Can you, can you Congratulations on your win here at 3.6 at Wednesday Night Fights. You're now tied for second place in the season. Uh, even though you missed a few, you know, yeah. travel and stuff like that. Congrats on the W. That was Thank you, man. You were coasting at the end there. That looks good. Uh, I was felt uh, very comfortable and like I felt like my reads were on point right there. You Most definitely time. looked solid. Now here's the thing. I don't know if people know this. You're one of the Americans going out to TGS, yes. Tokyo Game Show. When do you leave? I leave on Monday at 1.45, and I will return on the 22nd. So you're going to be out there for like 10 20 days. days. Yeah, 10 days, around 10 days. So 35 days you'll be out there So in like Japan. a million days. For, so I'm stepping in the doing, hyperbolic time chamber right, right 10 now. days in Japan. So what's your plan while you're out there? So I'm staying at MOV's uh, house, the Heiwa, Jima, uh, the Heiwa Jima house. And thank you to him and everybody at that house for allowing me to stay there. Um, I'm very excited to play against MOV, Ada, and Yukadon and all those guys because I'm just really looking forward to playing against their Chun and Nash and just getting getting that matchup experience and just playing against all the Japanese is just going to make me a really, really good player and it's going to just make me a better player. So I'm very right. excited for that. That's awesome. So you're going to go out there, grind, get the grind, games in. Yeah, but I mean, I'm going to be grinding Street Fighter, but I also got to grind Japan. You know, yeah. I got yeah. uh, to definitely look at all the uh, scenery and everything, go out and explore, do my thing out there. You know, I definitely want to go clubbing at nighttime. You know, like, you got to go out there. Dang, you, MOV, you get on clubbing? Oh, we're for sure. Is it happening? Brent, going Brent's going to be there too, right? Yes, he is. So Brent will be there, so you guys will yes. both be out there. Is Julio going? Julio's going, yeah. He's staying Dang. at another friend's house. All of you so guys the, will be the out Trinity there? is going to be out there, yeah. So yeah. you guys are going to be grinding in Japan. That should we be are, sick. Yeah, we got we to gotta get better. This is... I've always wanted this ever since I started playing Street Fighter, and this okay. is the first year that I'll be able to get that done. So I'm very thankful, very thankful. It's awesome that you're going to TGS. Uh, yes. It's usually like a very small pool of Americans that get yeah. to go. Yeah. So it's really sick that you got to go out there. You were just at Puerto Rico for first mm -hmm. attack. You got third place there. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty good showing. What did you think after the tournament, grinding and everything? How do you feel heading into TGS? I feel very confident. Um, I still need matchup experience against Nash and obviously MOV's Chun. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, like I feel, I feel pretty confident in how I'm playing right now. Okay. Uh, big shout outs to Mono as well for PR man. You yeah, really for made holding it, it down, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. You guys looked like you had a lot of fun out there. I saw you playing a bunch of sets with Goichi. I did. Um, we played after the tournament. He came to my hotel room. He won the first set 3-2, and then I won the second one 3-1. Okay. Um, but we were just going back and forth. He's a very, very nice guy. Very respectful as well. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, good work. Congrats on your WNF thank win. You, thank you. Thank you. Final question for you. Yes. You are pretty much like right here for qualifying for Capcom Cup. Uh, yes. You're I super know, close. If you do qualify, how do you think you could do? Especially after Capcom this Japan Cup. hyperbolic time chamber you're about to hit. We're getting I really hope, close to Capcom Cup. It's just I in a hope, few months. I hope that with this hyperbolic time chamber that I will 
do very good at Capcom Cup. There's going to be obviously amazing players over there. Right. Um, I hope I, I, I just want to qualify for that. Yeah, tournament. qualify I've, first. Every year that I've been watching it, I've always wanted to qualify for it and just play on that stage and on that pedestal. You know, that's going to be crazy. Well, you know, I'll be cheering for you. Yes. I'm rooting that you get those those last few points to grind out a little bit, get it. Uh, definitely go to Red Bull Battlegrounds if you're not going to go there. The NA ranking final, you are yeah, yeah. you yeah, should I'm, be going I'm for going, sure because yeah, yeah. you won uh, West Coast Warzone. West Coast Warzone. Yeah, so yeah. I'll be headed to Seattle for awesome. sure. Awesome. You better qualify. Yeah, it's right there. All the info is on the screen. $20 sign up now. Anyways, that's besides the point. Congratulations, Chris Tarion, on your WNF win. Thank you. Thank you. It's just been a pleasure. Wanna, just want to give shout quick shout-outs to EVB, my sponsors. Thank you, guys. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, everybody that supports me and everybody that watches Wednesday Night Fights, I know the times are ridiculous, but we really do appreciate your support. Um, also, always got to give shout-outs to the man upstairs. So, Sounds good. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Very See much. you guys next week. All right. Bye-bye.